In this video, we'll be discussing hardness, which is the resistance for a material to dent. I'll be explaining what the equation is doing, and I'll be doing an experiment to show how it is found. Unfortunately, I cannot work in a hardness testing machine into my budget, so we'll be using a ping pong ball with a diameter of 39 millimeters in our example. I will adjust everything to make it so this ping pong ball has a diameter of 10 millimeters, and we'll assume it is made out of steel. We will place it on a substance, which could represent a steel plate or something, but is actually putty. And we will apply a force of 30 grams, but we'll say it is 3000 kilograms force instead. These values are typically the standard for using a Brunel testing machine. We take a measurement of the diameter of the indent, which scaled down by dividing the indent diameter by 39 millimeters over 10 millimeters we get 3.3 millimeter diameter for the indent. To reiterate, the only reason I'm scaling everything and changing the numbers is to match the standard weights and measures for a Brunel test. You would not really have to do this in reality, assuming you have the actual equipment. Also, my hardness number is going to be made up. So the Brunel hardness equation is the load, which typically is 3000 kilograms of force, is typically applied for about 30 seconds or so, divided by pi times the diameter, which is the circumference of the 10 millimeter ball, times one half the diameter of the ball minus the square root of the diameter of the ball squared minus the diameter of the indent squared. What is this section doing? This looks like the Pythagorean theorem to me, so let's place a right triangle in the middle of the ping pong ball with one leg being one half the indent diameter, and the hypotenuse or longest side being one half the diameter of the ball used for this testing. Plugging these values into the Pythagorean theorem, we get the other side length. Now, if we subtract the side length from the diameter of the ball, we get the indent depth. So this portion of the equation is solving for the indent depth into the clay from the bottom of the steel indent sphere. So really, the formula is load divided by the circumference of the indent sphere times the depth of the indent. So let's plug in these numbers I made up and see what the hardness we get. We get a hardness of 340.9. This of course is not an actual hardness, but if you were to get this value, you could compare it to experimental values to see how hard your substance is. Poll update. That concludes this video. Hope that I've earned a like, share, or subscription really helps out the channel if you do. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.